Hello dear students, welcome back to my channel. This is the video series for Science Target 80 on 80. Yesterday what we have discussed is part A, Physics for 28 marks. Hopefully the video was useful, the class was useful. Today we will be learning part B chemistry that is for 25 marks in the examination. Dear students, it is very easy to score marks in part B chemistry. We have very few simple chapters. What you should do is do watch a complete video. Try to learn all the questions what we are discussing now. And also if you have not subscribed the channel, do subscribe the channel. I will be sharing this PDF in my WhatsApp channel or in the Telegram group. Do join the Telegram group and my WhatsApp channel. And also do follow on the Instagram. So all these questions what we discussed now is from the previous year board papers definitely all these questions will be repeated this year because maximum concepts have been covered in this video. Hopefully do watch the complete video and make use of the video. Thank you. Now we will start lesson wise revision. You need chemical reactions and equation. Dear students, in this chapter, you will see the important questions from the previous year board papers. Almost we are revising 10 papers. Maximum concepts and questions has been covered. Definitely you can expect these questions appearing in your main exam. Do watch the complete video. Do try to learn all these questions. Try to watch complete video. If you watch, at least you will be able to listen. Definitely in the examination, you will be able to recall these questions. Don't skip and watch the complete video. Definitely it will help. For the first question, name the brown fumes liberated when lead nitrate is lead heated. When the lead nitrate is heated, we get a brown fumes called as nitrogen dioxide. What is the chemical reaction? Lead nitrate that is 2 PbNO3 twice on heating gives 2 PbO that is lead oxide plus nitrogen dioxide plus oxygen. What kind of reaction it is? It is a it is a decomposition reaction. It is an example for decomposition reaction. Draw the diagram of the apparatus used in the electrolysis of water. In the electrolysis of water, very important, very important diagram because in examination many times the diagram has been repeated. Do practice the diagram. Electrolysis of water. The possible chemical reaction among the following. Among there are four chemical reactions which is the possible one. The possible chemical reaction is options. C, 2 AgNO3 plus copper gives copper nitrate that plus 2 Ag. That is why this chemical reaction will take place because copper is more reactive than silver. It displaces, copper displaces silver. Hence, this reaction is possible. If you check other reactions, it is not at all possible. Next. Fe2O3 plus 2Al gives Al2O3 plus 2Fe. What kind of reaction it is? It is an example for displacement reaction because aluminium is more reactive than iron. It displaces aluminium displaces iron. Next again the electrolysis of water diagram. Next CuO that is copper oxide plus hydrogen gives copper plus water in this reaction name the reactant that is oxidized the reactant that is oxidized here is what is oxidation adding of oxygen oxygen is added to h2 therefore the oxidizing reactant is hydrogen reduced reactant that is cuo is reduced to cu that is reduced reactant is copper oxide 
the reaction of barium chloride with aluminum sulfate solution is example for which type of chemical reaction the reaction between barium chloride and aluminum sulfate is an example for double displacement reaction because exchange of partner ions takes place in the solution why it is called as double displacement already i have told you exchange of ion takes place in the solution balanced chemical equation Al2SO4 thrice plus 3BaCl2 barium chloride gives 2AlCl3 plus BaSO4 that is 3BaSO4 is the precipitate formed. Next question, manufacturers of chips flush the packets of chips with nitrogen gas. Why? Because to prevent the process of rancidity. Next, write the balanced chemical equation for the following chemical reaction. How can you confirm by observation that these chemical reactions are taking place? Lead nitrate is heated. When lead nitrate is heated, what we get is lead nitrate is on heating lead oxide plus release of brown fumes called as nitrogen dioxide and oxygen. <coughs> this is an example for decomposition reaction sodium sulfate reacts with barium chloride sodium sulfate on reacting with barium chloride gives 2 nacl sodium chloride plus baso4 baso4 is the white precipitate next the gas liberated the cathode in the electrolysis of water during the electrolysis of water the gas released at the cathode is hydrogen at the anode is oxygen ZNO plus C gives ZN plus U. In this reaction, name the reactant that is oxidized. Carbon is oxidized to carbon monoxide and zinc oxide is reduced to zinc. Therefore, reduced reactant is ZNO, oxidized reactant is C. Write the balanced chemical equation for the following chemical reaction. Calcium carbonate on heating gives calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide. CaCO3 on heating CaO plus CO2. Hydrogen plus chlorine gives hydrogen chloride. H2 plus Cl2 gives 2 HCl. Magnesium plus hydrochloric acid gives magnesium chloride plus hydrogen. Mg plus 2 HCl gives MgCl2 plus H2. Which type of chemical reaction takes place when an iron nail is dipped in copper sulfate solution? Why write a balanced chemical equation for this chemical reaction? It is a chemical displacement reaction because iron is more reactive than copper. Hence, iron displaces copper from the copper sulfate solution. The element which is more reactive displaces the least reactive element. That is Fe plus CuSO4 gives FeSO4 plus Cu. Next, again, electrolysis of water is uh, diagram repeated. See students you can see the question which has repeated many a times so try to concentrate on those questions try to learn you can see here based on the types of chemical reaction the question has been asked repeatedly do try to learn that all the types of chemical reaction in detail the chemical reaction that takes place between sodium sulfate and barium chloride is called as double displacement why because there is exchange of ions between the sodium sulfate and barium chloride Write the balanced chemical equation, sodium sulfate, barium chloride gives barium sulfate plus sodium chloride. What is the precipitate here? Barium sulfate is the precipitate. What is the type of chemical reaction in which quick lime is obtained by limestone? Write a chemical equation for this. Quick lime is obtained by the thermal decomposition of limestone. That is CaCO3 on heating is CaO plus CO2. The reactant that exchange ions by reacting with each other form a precipitate among the following is barium chloride and sodium sulfate. Packs of chips are flushed with nitrogen gas because to prevent transitivity or to prevent chips from getting oxidized. An iron nail is dipped into a test tube having copper sulfate solution. The iron nail gradually turns to brownish color. Why? Because iron is more reactive than copper. It displaces copper from the copper sulfate solution. Hence, we get that color. Hence, iron nail gradually turns to brownish color. 
calcium oxygen carbon dioxide are produced on heating calcium carbonate CaCO3 on heating gives CaO plus CO2 chips manufacturers flush bags of chips with nitrogen gas because to prevent chips from getting oxidized or we can say that rancidity name the product when calcium oxide reacts with water calcium hydroxide or slaked lime CaOH twice Add same amount of barium chloride solution to a test tube containing 5 ml of sodium sulfate which insoluble white precipitate is formed. It is an example for double displacement reaction. The white precipitate formed is barium sulfate BaSO4. What are the ions? So sulfate radical and barium ion that is BaSO4 sorry SO4 minus 2 Ba plus 2. It is an example for precipitate reaction or double displacement. Dear students, there are few important questions uh, included in this PDF. Definitely, I will share this PDF in the WhatsApp group or WhatsApp channel or in my Telegram group. Do join the WhatsApp channel. I uh, will share this. Do try to learn all these questions. See here, the exposure of silver chloride in sunlight it is used in white and black photography. See, try to learn all these questions, uh, dear students. Definitely can score good marks in the examination. Unit acid, basis and salt, very important chapter for the examination. In this chapter, you will see for the revision purpose, the previous year board papers, almost 10, po uh, 10 papers has been included in this PDF. All the important question maximum concepts has been covered. Do try to learn all these questions. Try to understand the concept behind these questions. The chemical equation that represents neutralization reaction among the following is the reaction between acid and base results in formation of salt and water. The reaction among these option C to NaOH plus H2SO4 gives Na2SO4 plus 2H2. Next question, name the acid present in the stinging air of nettle leaves that is methanoic acid or formic acid. The acid present in the stinging air of nettle leaves is methanoic acid. Very important diagram that is reaction of zinc granules with dilute sulfuric acid and testing hydrogen gas by burning. Very important diagram for three marks. Next, there is no change in the color of litmus, red litmus and blue litmus paper when introduced into an aqueous solution of sodium chloride. After passing direct current to the same solution, red litmus changes to blue. Which product is responsible for this change? Mention the two uses of this product. The product formed here is sodium hydroxide, responsible for the change in color because After passing direct current, what happens? There is change in the color because of the formation of sodium hydroxide. Uses of sodium hydroxide, it is used in degreasing metals. Sodium hydroxide is used in degreasing metals. It is used in manufacture of soaps and detergents. It is used in paper making and artificial fibers. These are the uses of sodium hydroxide. Name the gas liberated when the acid reacts with metallic carbonate. Write the chemical equation of this reaction when this gas is, this gas is passed to a lime water. What is the color of the precipitate obtained in this reaction? The gas released when acid reacts with metallic metal carbonates are carbon dioxide. The chemical CaOH twice plus CO2 gives CaCO3 plus H2O. On passing carbon dioxide gas, the precipitate is white the color of the precipitate is white white precipitate is firm next give scientific reason while diluting an acid the acid should be added to water always when you dilute an acid we should add acid to the water not water to the acid because if water is added to the concentrated acid, the heat generated may cause the mixture to splash it and cause burn. And the glass container may also 
break due to excessive heat. Always when diluting an acid, you should add acid to water. If you reverse it, what happens? It is highly exothermic reaction. The mixture may splash out and cause burns. And also the glass tube or the glass container may also break due to excessive heat. Always you should be careful during this procedure. Plaster of Paris should be stored in moisture proof container. When it is not stored in moisture proof container, what happens? It uh, converts into hard solid mass. Hence it should be kept in moisture proof container. What is neutralization reaction? The reaction between acid and base to give salt and water is called as neutralization reaction. Name the products of chlor alkali process, write the, write the use of each product. The products of chlor alkali process are sodium hydroxide, hydrogen and chlorine. Use of sodium hydroxide already we have learned. It is used in degreasing metals, used in manufacture of soaps and detergents. It is used in paper making and artificial fiber. Uses of hydrogen, it is used as a fuel. It is used in the preparation of ammonia, which is used in the fertilizers. Uses of chlorine, chlorine is used in water treatment. It is used as a disinfectant. And it is, chlorine is used in pesticide, PVC and CFCs. As the pH value of the neutral solution increases, if pH of the neutral solution increases, that means it basic property increases. Above 7 is what? Basic. Below 7 is acidic. Therefore, basic property increases and number of OH minus ion increases. Agriculture scientists suggested to add certain amount of lime water to an agricultural field. What is the reason? Because to maintain the specific pH range of the soil so that the plants grow healthy so because the soil may be acidic, lime water, lime powder is a base, hence the base should be added to the soil to make soil little basic. So adding lime, water, lime powder to the soil decreases the acidic property and soil is neutralized. Draw the diagram of the apparatus to show the acid solution in water conducts electricity. See important diagram, do try to practice. Already we have uh, studied the reaction of zinc granules with dilutes, sulfuric acid and testing hydrogen gas by burn. Dear students, you can see the diagram has repeated in almost all the papers. So do practice the diagram for three marks. That is reaction of zinc granules with dilute sulfuric acid and testing hydrogen gas by burning. What is strong acid? Explain how tooth decay is caused, how it can be prevented. Acid that gives more H plus ions is said to be strong acid. More the H plus ions, stronger the acid. How tooth decay is caused? Bacteria present in the mouth produces acid by degradation of sugar in food particles remaining in the mouth after eating. After you eat, the the food particles present in the mouth is degraded by the bacteria which produces what acid so the ph in the mouth decreases the tooth enamel gets corroded using toothpaste which are generally basic for cleaning the teeth you can prevent by using toothpastes that are basic property write the molecular formula and two uses of each of the following components bleaching powder Molecular formula of bleaching powder is CaOCl2. It is used in bleaching agent in textile industry, paper industry and in laundries. Used as an oxidizing agent in many in industries. It is used to make drinking water free from germs. Next, uses of plaster of Paris. Molecular formula of plaster of Paris is CaSO4 dot half H2. Doctor used this for supporting fractured bones in the right position. It is used for making toys, materials for decoration and making surfaces smooth. A compound that reacts with both acids as well as bases to produce salt and water is that is aluminium oxide. That is the example for amphoteric oxide. The gas liberated when sodium carbonate reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid, it is carbon dioxide. The substance that converts blue litmus to red, it is gastric juice. Blue to red gastric juice, that is acid.
an acid present in a stinging layer of nitrile plant leaves is methanoic acid. Observe the following table. PS, pH value 7.4, QS 2.2, RS 10, SS 1.2. The substance with least number of hydrogen, higher the value, least the hydrogen. That is option R, substance R has least number of hydrogen ions. The gas liberated when sodium bicarbonate reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid is carbon dioxide. The substance that converts lead litmus paper to blue litmus paper is sodium hydroxide solution. Because base converts red litmus to blue. Right, any uses of the following plaster of Paris, it is used in uh, supporting fractured bones, making toys, decorative materials, making uh, surfaces smooth. The pH values of A, B, C are 5, 6 and 7 respectively. Which of the solution is more acidic? At least the pH value more acidic. Therefore, solution A, pH value with 5, that is solution is more acidic because it has more S plus ions. Again, 3 marks important diagram, practice diagram. What is the common name of compound that has molecular formula CaSO4 dot half H2 it is plaster of Paris. What is neutralization reaction? The reaction between acid and base to form salt and water is called as neutralization reaction. So again important diagram acid solution water conducts electricity. Name the salts used in the following situation write their molecular formula. To remove permanent hardness of water what we use is washing soda sodium carbonate. To make drinking water free from germs, it is bleaching protocol calcium oxalic chloride. To support fractured bones, that is plaster of Paris, calcium sulfate hemihydrate. pH values of four pH values of four solutions are given below classified into acidic and base. More than seven basic, that is F and G are basic solution, less than seven, that is five and two are the acidic solution. Name the antacid used to neutralize excess of acid in stomach. Means milk of magnesium, magnesium, hydroxide, or sodium, hydrogen, carbonate. Name the ions responsible for the acidic and basic uh, nature of the substance. Acid, H plus ion, or H3 hydronium ion. Basic, OH minus, or hydroxyl, or hydroxide. Explain the manufacturing of bleaching powder. Write any two uses of it. Bleaching powder is produced by the action of chlorine by on dry slaked lime. That is CaO twice plus Cl to give CaO Cl2 plus HO. Uses are for bleaching cotton and linen textile industry, wood pulp in paper industry, paper factories. But for bleaching washed clothes in laundry, as an oxidizing agent in chemical industry to make drinking water free from germs. A strong solution of sodium hydroxide is added to the strong solution of hydrochloric acid. Strong solution of sodium hydroxide is added to strong solution of hydrochloric acid. What is the nature of the salt? The nature of the salt will be neutral. That is NaOH plus HCl gives Na plus NaCl plus H2O. It is a neutral salt. Dear students, still there are few additional questions which has been included which can be asked in your examination this pdf will be shared do try to download this worksheet workbook and try to learn all the question answer definitely you can score good marks in the examination the paper will be uh, conceptually you can say that it will be easy you have to learn the concept if you learn the concept definitely you can score good marks Unit metals and non-metals. Again, for the examination, very important chapter. All the questions from previous year board paper is included. Do try to learn all these questions. Do watch the complete video because conceptually you have to understand this chapter. <clears throat> First question: Give reasons. 
ionic compounds in solid states do not conduct electricity whereas in molten state are good conductors of electricity because in solid state ionic compound do not conduct electricity because movement of ions in the solid is not possible due to the rigid structure whereas in the molten states ions are free to move and conduct electricity ions are responsible for the conduction of electricity Silver article when exposed to air gradually turns blackish because the silver reacts with sulfur in the air to form sulfur in the air to form coating of silver sulfide hence it turns blackish chemical reaction does not takes place when copper is added to iron sulfate solution because copper is less reactive than iron or we can say that iron is more reactive than copper hence this reaction will not takes place Copper loses its brown layer gradually when exposed to air. Copper reacts with moist carbon dioxide in the air and slowly loses its shiny brown surface and becomes a green coat. See here, silver it is black coating that is silver sulfide. Copper it is green coat. Next, aluminium oxide is called as amphoteric oxide. Aluminium oxide reacts with both acid as well as bases to form salt and water. Write the balanced chemical equation for the reaction that takes place between the aluminium with dilute hydrochloric acid. Balanced chemical equation for the reaction taking place between aluminium and hydrochloric acid. 2 Al plus 6 HCl gives 2 Al Cl3 plus 3 H2. Hydrogen gas is not liberated when metal reacts with concentrated nitric acid because hydrogen gas is not liberated because the nitric acid is a strong reducing agent. It oxidizing it oxidizes hydrogen produced water itself get reduced to any one of the nitrogen dioxides. The concentrated nitric acid is a strong oxidizing agent because hydrogen produced is oxidized to water. Hence, hydrogen gas is not produced. Show the formation of NaCl plus and a magnesium chloride with the help of electron dot structure. Very important. I'll, uh, in detail, I will explain in it a separate video. Do try to learn the formation of sodium chloride, magnesium chloride, magnesium oxide, sodium oxide, all these are very important. Draw the diagram of the arrangement of apparatus to show the action of steam on metal, label the, label the following parts. So very important diagram for three marks, that is action of steam on metal. Which physical properties are used in the following situation? Gold is used to make ornaments because gold has shining surface or metallic cluster and it is it is, uh, it is uh, non-reactive and it is it has the property of ductility and malleability. Nickel is used in strings of guitar because of its sonorous and ductility property. What are the amphoteric oxide? Metal oxide that show both acidic as well as basic behavior are called as amphoteric oxide. Next question, strips of zinc, iron, magnesium and copper are taken in the test tubes A, B, C, D. Same quantity of ferrous sulfate solution is added to this uh, test tube. In which test tubes chemical reaction will take place? Why? Write the chemical equations for the reaction that takes place. The chemical reaction takes place in test tube A and test tube C because Zinc and magnesium are more reactive than iron. For this, you should know the reactivity series. Zinc and magnesium are more reactive than iron, they hence it displaces. Zn plus FeSO4 gives ZnSO4 plus Fe. Observe the following chemical reactions. The decreasing order of reactivity of the metals in the above reactions is Zn, Fe, and C. Option A. Observe the following equations of chemical reaction. Increasing order of reactivity is Fe, Zn and Al. Option A. Draw the diagram to show the arrangement 
of the apparatus used for testing the conductivity of salt solution and label grapher dot testing the conductivity of salt solution important diagram do practice give is and metals are used in making cooking vessels because metals are good conductors of heat and have property of malleability hence metals are used in making cooking vessel sodium metal is stored in kerosene because sodium is very reactive metal if it if it is exposed to atmosphere what it reacts with atmospheric oxygen and water gives it is highly exothermic reaction hence it is always stored under kerosene when a calcium metal reacts with water the liberated hydrogen gas does not catch fire because the reaction of calcium with water is less violent the heat evolved is not sufficient for the hydrogen to catch fire any compounds have high melting and boiling point because there is a considerable amount of energy which is needed to break the interionic attraction the metal that displaces copper from copper sulfate solution is iron because iron is more reactive than copper explain the formation of ionic bond between the sodium atom and chlorine atom list any four general properties of electronic configuration of sodium atom is 2 comma 8 comma 1 electronic configuration of chlorine atom is 2 comma 8 comma 7 here one electron from sodium atom is donated to chlorine here sodium is donator chlorine is acceptor to have the stable octet configuration sodium loses its one valence electron thus forms sodium cation and chlorine receives one electron from its uh, to its valence shell thus forms chloride ion due to the electrostatic force between the oppositely charged na plus and cl minus ions sodium chloride is formed this is how the structure is properties of ionic compounds compounds ionic compounds are generally solids generally brittle and breaks into pieces when pressure is applied they have high melting and boiling point soluble in water not soluble in organic solvents they do not conduct electricity in solid state but they conduct electricity in molten state because ions will be available in the molten state the ions are responsible for the conduction of electricity Draw the diagram of uh, arrangement of apparatus to show the action of steam on metal. Depict the formation of magnesium chloride with the help of electron dot structure. Magnesium chloride loses two electrons, and those two electrons will be added to the valence shell of chlorine, thus forming the compound magnesium chloride. Hydrogen gas is not liberated when metal like zinc reacts with nitric acid because nitric acid is a strong oxidizing agent. The hydrogen produced is oxidized to water and itself the uh, oxidize reduces to oxides of nitrogen. How are metals in the middle of the reactivity series are extracted from their ores? Metals in the middle of the reactivity series are in the form of sulfide or carbonate ore. the metals in the middle of the reactivity series are in the form of sulfide or carbonate ores the sulfide ores are converted into oxides by roasting roasting is heating the ore strongly in the presence of excess of air the carbonates are converted into oxide by heating strongly in limited air is uh, it, it is called as calcination sulfides ores are converted into oxide by roasting carbonate ores are converted into oxides by calcination that is heating in the absence of oxygen calcination heating in the presence of oxygen roasting the metal oxides are then reduced to corresponding metals by using reducing agents such as carbon any compounds have high melting and boiling point because uh, large amount of energy is required to break the strong intermolecular force between the molecules what are alloys write the constant elements present in the bronze and solder metal alloy is a homogeneous mixture of two or more metals or metals and non metals bronze it is made up of copper and tin or copper and lead copper and tin solder metal it is made up of lead and tin What are ores? Name the respective methods used to convert sulfide and carbonate ores of metals into their oxides. 
Sulfide ore is done by roasting. Carbonate ore is done by calcination. Calcination is the heating ore in the absence or limited supply of ore. Oxygen. Sulfide ore is heated in the presence of oxygen. That is called as roasting. <coughs> See additional questions which has been included in this PDF. Do download. Do try to learn all these questions definitely. Uh, do try to study textbook also. Definitely, I'll be taking further many revision classes which will be useful for you. Unit carbon and its compounds. Very easy chapter. Definitely, you can score good marks if you study textbook and understand the concept. Uh, the questions are from previous year board papers, contains almost around 10 previous year board papers. Do try to learn all these questions, uh, maximum concepts have been covered. The function groups present in propanol and propanol. See, you observe the suffix OL, suffix AL. OL means alcohol, AL means aldehyde, alcohol means OH. Aldehyde means CHO, therefore the correct answer is option A. What are structural isomers? Name the first member of alkene that show structural isomerism. Compounds having same molecular formula but different structures are called as structural isomers. The first member of alkene that show structural isomerism is butane, that is C4H10. But means four carbon atoms. Write the difference between saturated and, and unsaturated hydrocarbons. Write the molecular formula and structural formula of an alkene having five carbon atom. Saturated hydrocarbons, single bond between the carbon atom, unsaturated, double or triple bond between the carbon atoms. Saturated carbon compounds, that is saturated hydrocarbons are less reactive. Unsaturated hydrocarbons are more reactive. Generally gives blue flame, burns with yellow sooty flame. Molecular formula of alkene having 5 carbon atoms that is CnH2n minus 2. CnH2n actually. For alkene it is CnH2n plus 2. Alkene CnH2n alkyne CnH2n minus 2. 5 carbon atom because it is alkene double bond will be present. Carbon atom does not form C4 minus anion or C4 plus cation because carbon gains carbon can gain four electron but but it will be very difficult for the nucleus with six pros, protons to hold on ten electrons that is four extra electrons it can lose four electrons but it requires large amount of energy to remove four electrons leaving behind carbon atom with six protons hence it is not possible hence carbon cannot lose four electrons or gain 4 electron. Instead of it, what it does, it shares the electron and forms bond. That is called that is why it is called as covalent compounds. What is a covalent bond? See, chemical bond which is formed by the sharing of electrons between two atoms is called as covalent bond. Name the first member of alkyne series, write its molecular formula. The first member of alkyne series is ethyne. Its molecular formula is C2H2. Write the general formula of two specific groups of saturated and unsaturated carbon compounds is CnH2n. Write the structure of the member of each group where n equals 3. See, uh, cycloalkenes have same general formula CnH2n whereas alkenes also have same. So cyclopropane and cyclopropane and propene. These are the structures. Dear students, I'll make a separate video to how to write down the structures, how to write the structures of carbon compounds in detail. An example for saturated hydrocarbon is saturated means single bond. Here it is ethane that is C2H6 option A. Write the molecular formula of three carbon compound which is homologous, which are in homologous series C2H6, C3H8, C4. The suitable general formula for this compound will be it is CnH2n plus 2. Identify the correct electron dot structure of the nitrogen molecule in the following. The correct answer is option E.
the name and molecular formula of unsaturated hydrocarbon having general formula CNH2N and containing three carbon atom. It is propene. CNH2N is the general formula of ethene. Three carbon means pro, that is propene. C3H3. What are structural isomers? Write the two structures of butane. Carbon compounds having same molecular formula but different structures are called as structural isomers. See, molecular formula is same but structures are different. The structural formula of propanol is option C. Aldehyde we have. Aldehyde as a functional group. The number of single bonds and double bonds present in the structure of benzene. The number of single bond is 9, number of double bond is 3, therefore the correct answer is option B. The common molecular formula of both hexene and cyclohexane is CnH2n that is C6H12. The pair of carbon compounds having same molecular formula is hexene and cyclohexane. What is the functional group? It is CHO is the aldehyde function group. Therefore, the correct answer is option A. A group of carbon compounds that are homologous in C. Difference between the successive members should differ by CH2. Therefore, the correct answer is option C. <coughs> the saturated hydrocarbon among the following is C5H12. Write the structural formula of ethene molecule. Structural formula of ethene molecule is double bond ethene. Ene means double bond. Eth means two carbon atom. Already repeated question. What is catenation? Write general formula of alkenes. Carbon has a unique ability to form bonds with other atoms of carbon giving rise to large molecules. The general formula of alkene is CnH2N. The number of single bond found in the molecular structure of propanol is 8. Write the structure and find uh, list the number of single bond. Already we have learnt the difference between saturated and unsaturated carbon compounds. Single bond, saturated, double bond and triple bond unsaturated. Saturated carbon compounds are less reactive whereas unsaturated carbon compounds are more reactive. Gives clean flame. The saturated compounds give clean flame, whereas unsaturated carbon compound gives yellow or black flame. Saturated carbon compounds undergo substitution reaction. Unsaturated carbon compounds undergo addition as well as substitution reaction. Example alkanes, cycloalkanes. Example alkanes, alkanes, and benzene. Aromatic hydrocarbon. This is a benzene structure. The general formula of cycloalkane is CNH1 and its first member is cyclopropane. Write the for molecular formula structure arrangement of fourth member of this homologous series. First member is cyclopropane, next is cyclobutane, next is cyclopentane, next is cyclohexane. So C6H12 is the next mem fourth member. What is hydrogenation? Hydrogenation Hydrogen is added to unsaturated hydrocarbons in the presence of catalysts such as palladium or nickel to give saturated hydrocarbons. This is called as hydrogenation. <coughs> Conversion of unsaturated carbon compound to saturated carbon compound by adding hydrogen in the presence of nickel or palladium as a catalyst. How will ethanol be oxidized? Ethanol is oxidized into ethanoic acid. Ethanol is converted to ethanoic acid by eating with oxidizing agents such as, such as alkaline potassium permanganate or acidified potassium dichromate. CH3, CH2O8 that is ethanol in the presence of strong oxidizing agent gives what CH3, CO8 that is ethanoic acid. Explain the cleansing action of soap. Soaps are sodium or potassium salts of long chain carboxylic acid. Soaps molecule form micelles in which ionic can interacts with water and uh, faces outside the carbon chain of the soap interacts with the oil or the dirt. See the structure of micelle has two ends, ionic end and the carbon chain. Ionic end reacts with water whereas, uh, whereas the carbon chain reacts with the oil or dirt. This form emulsion in water, therefore the soap's molecules pull out the dirt and wash the clothes clean. 
Why are detergents more suitable for cleaning clothes in hard water? Because detergents do not form insoluble precipitate with calcium or magnesium ion present in the hard water. In a homologous series, the first member of hydrogen group, hydrocarbon group has a molecular formula CH4. Then find out the molecular formula of the fourth member of right, two types of structural formula of it. CNH2N plus 2 is the general formula of alkanes. If n equals 4, we get butane. Two structures of butanes are normal butane and isobutane. Identify, the, identify unsaturated hydrocarbons in the following carbon compound and write the structure. It is an unsaturated hydrocarbon because we have double bond between them. And also the second one is C2H2. It has triple bond. Therefore, the correct answer is C6H6 and C2H2. Write the difference between esterification and saponification. Esterification is the reaction of acid with, with an alcohol to produce the sweet melting substance esters. What is saponification? Reaction between alkaline base and long chain carboxylic acid to produce soaps. Electron dot structure of oxygen molecule. Already we have discussed this question. Dear students, uh, additional questions have been included. Uh, writing about the structures of many carbon atoms. You should know the functional group and also difference between soaps and detergents. Which one is more effective whether soaps or detergents in hard water? Give reason. How we can test the hardness of water whether by using soaps or detergents? So this kind of questions will be asked in the examination. Do learn all these questions. I'll share this PDF in my telegram group. Do learn all the questions. You need periodic classification of elements. Uh, conceptually, you have to understand with four laws, four laws and periodic table, the modern periodic table and the periodic trends. If you learn all this concept, definitely you can score good marks. Observe the given table and answer the following question. Elements A as atomic number 11, B as 4, C as 2, D as 7 and D as 19. Identify the two elements that belong to the same period, two elements that belong to the same group. You should try to learn the electronic configuration of the elements. 281 atomic, uh, the electronic configuration of the element A is 2, 8, 1, B is 2, 2, C is 2, D is 2, 5, and E is uh, 2, 8, 8, 1. Element B <coughs> and D are in the same period because their atoms have same shells. Element A and E are in the same group because their outermost shell has one electron. E and A has one valence electron, therefore they are in the same group, whereas B and D are in the same period because they have two shells. The number of groups and periods in the modern periodic table are uh, there are 18 groups and 7 periods. Therefore, the correct answer is option B. The position of elements A, B, C, D in the modern periodic table is given in the following table. Answer the following question by observing which element has the highest atomic size. The correct answer is option C because new shells are added down the group, atomic size increases down the group, hence the correct answer is option correct answer is op C, element C. Which element has the least metallic property? It is option, sorry, it is uh, B, element B because across the period the tendency to lose the electron decreases, therefore the non-metallic property increases. Sodium and potassium are placed in the same group of the modern periodic table. If the molecular formula of sodium sulphate is Na2SO4, then decide the molecular formula of potassium sulphate. Give the reason for your answer. Molecular formula of potassium sulphate is K2 
SO4 because sodium and potassium have same number of valence electrons. The atomic numbers of two elements are 8 and 16. Write the electronic configuration of these two elements 2, 6 and 2, 8, 6. Do you keep these two elements in the same group in the modern period? Yes, these two elements are kept in the same group because they have same valence electron. Because the outermost shell has same number of electrons or both have same number of valence electrons. Hence, these two elements are kept in the same group. Element with atomic number 8 is more electronegative than the atomic number with 16 because electronegativity decreases down the group. Atomic numbers of elements A, B, C, D are 3, 9, 4, 8 respectively. Elements having metallic nature among this is option C. That is A and C has metallic property. However, the limitations of Mendeleev periodic table rectified in the modern periodic table. The limitations of uh, Mendeleev periodic table were rectified in the modern periodic table by arranging the elements in the increasing order of atomic number and also based on the electronic configuration. The problems of isotopes was solved. How does atomic size vary in groups and periods of the modern periodic table? Why atomic size increases down the group because down the group uh, new shells will be added. This increases the atomic size. Atomic size decreases as you move from left to right of the period because as increasing the nuclear charge tends to pull the electrons closer to the nucleus. The properties of elements are periodic functions of their atomic number. This law was proposed by Henry Mosley. Atomic number of an element is 20. The modern periodic table, this element belongs to which by the electronic configuration depending on the number of shell. Here, if four, there are four shells are there, therefore it belongs to period 4. The properties of elements are periodic functions of their atomic mass. This law was proposed by Mendeleev. Therefore, option C is the curtain. In modern periodic table, in moving from left to right along the period, the metallic property of the element decreases. When you move from left to right of the modern periodic table in a period, the non-metallic property increases where the metallic property decreases. Atomic number of chlorine is 17. The period number of this element in the modern periodic table is 3 because it has 3 shells. State modern periodic law. Properties of elements are periodic functions of their atomic numbers. Already we have discussed this question, what is atomic size? The distance between the center of the nucleus and the outermost shell of an atom is called as atomic size. Atomic size decreases down the group, sorry, decreases along the period and increases down the group because down the group, the number of shells added, new shells will be added, whereas uh, it uh, decreases uh, along the period because the nuclear char the nuclear air force tend to pull the electrons closer. Said modern period properties of elements are periodic functions of their atomic number. Write the two reasons for placing hydrogen, sorry, oxygen and sulfur in the same group of modern periodic table. One of these elements has larger atomic size by atomic number of oxygen is 8 because placing oxygen and sulfur in the same group because they have same chemical properties again they have same valence electrons sulfur has larger atomic size because atomic size increases down the group new shells are being added as we go down the group this increases the distance between the outermost electron and the nucleus mm. What are the limitations of Mendeleev's periodic table? Why is silicon called metalloid? There is no fixed position was given to hydrogen, no fixed position was given to isotopes of all the elements. The atomic masses from one element to other element do not increase in a regular manner. Hence, it is not predi uh, possible to predict how many elements could be discovered between two elements. These are the limitations of Mendeleev's periodic table. Silicon is a metalloid because it exhibits both the properties of metals and non-metals. Among there are three elements with atomic number four, so two, 
एट टेन द एलिमेंट हैविंग जीरो वेलेंसी इज एक्स एंड जेड बिकॉज इट इज कंप्लीटली फिल्ड एक्स एंड जेड हैव कंप्लीटली फिल्ड Observe the given part of the model periodic table and answer the following question: Which element is more electropositive and why? Sodium is more electropositive because it loses one valence electron easily, and also electropositive decreases across the period. Mm. Atoms of which element have minimum atomic radius? so chlorine has minimum atomic radius because the atomic radius decreases as we move along the period because the effective nuclear charge on the valence shell increases mention the period and group number of the element that has atomic number 19 first write down the um, Electronic configuration two comma eight comma eight comma one. It has four shells and it belongs to fourth period. Mendeleev's periodic table is constructed on the basis of atomic mass. The elements are arranged in the increasing order of the atomic masses in the given uh, table. Observe it and answer according to it. Name the elements that belong to the same group H, F, and because it has similar properties, L, I, and lithium and sodium, because the first element is similar to the eighth element because they come under same group. State the law that helps to group these elements. Newland's law of octets when the elements are arranged in increasing order of atomic mass, every eighth element has the properties similar to that of first. Limit limitations of this law applicable. This law was applicable only up to the element calcium. Wrong guesses were made, such as no more element will be discovered in future. Adjusted two similar and similar elements in the same slot with the dis discovery of noble gases. The gases, the law of octets became irrelevant. Dear students, you have to try try to understand the Dobbs-Meyers law of triads and the limitations, Newland's law of octets and its limitations, Mendeleev's law and limitations, and modern periodic law. <coughs> so with this and also periodic tends atomic size, metallic and non-metallic properties, electronegativity and positivity, valency. If you learn all this, definitely, and depending on the electronic configuration how the elements are placed in the modern periodic table all this you should learn dear students thank you for watching the video do try to learn all these questions all the best for your exam do try to score good marks my wish is to score 80 on it thank you